sweater that I use when I play with makeup. <laughs> Hi, honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be playing with some brand new makeup from a company that I'm actually new to as well, and it is Estate Makeup. So they reached out and sent over a bunch of their goodies, and this is my first time playing with them and digging into their eyeshadows, their blushes, um, their lipsticks. So I did create this entire makeup look for you guys, um, but I didn't record the skin. I did record when I'm applying the baked blushes and the baked highlighters. And of course, I'm filming the entire eyeshadow look for you guys. And throughout the video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my most honest opinion throughout the brand. I also have a discount code with them, which I will also link down below for you guys. See any of these goodies that I use in today's video, se les antoja. I do have a code with them, and you're more than welcome to support me um, if you liked anything that I used or mentioned in today's video. Um, so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sandy Harkin. Welcome back, and my new uploading schedule, you guys, is gonna be Monday and Wednesdays, and if I have some extra time, maybe Fridays. <laughs> so that's gonna be my new schedule. I think around 2 to 4 p.m. is when I will upload on Monday and Wednesdays. So if you're not new, hi, welcome back. Um, so without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get started and play with some new goodies. Let's show you guys the products first. So here we have the Venice Fling Palette in collab with Bailey Sarian and Estate Cosmetics. This palette does run for $30 and you do get nine eyeshadows. So you have a mattes and you have shimmery shades. The shimmery shades, you guys, definitely swatch the best. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're very buttery. Um, and I only had to go in once to get this color payoff. The mattes, on the other hand, I did have some difficulties <laughs> applying um, these shades on my hand. I did go in more than once to get the color payoff that you guys see here. Um, so I do feel that, that I'm going to struggle with them during this tutorial. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these um, baked highlighters, which are my favorite. They are $10. I feel like they're absolutely buttery, super payoff, like the color payoff is amazing. Um, and for the price, $10, hell yeah, sign me up. <laughs> they kind of give me color pop vibes um, with the packaging, and I just feel like these are definitely a must to pick up. Uh, if you guys are interested, if you like to bake highlighters, um, I have textured skin, but I still like to apply this on my skin, obviously a little bit because we don't want to accentuate the pores too much. <laughs> uh, here we have the shade Treat. This is their wet matte lipstick um, for only $10. And I will provide my thoughts later in this tutorial. So the first shade I'm going to go into is called Rose Tattoo, and I'm going into the smudger brush to just place the eyeshadow first. So at first when I was applying this um, color with this smudger brush, I was like, okay, it's pretty pigmented. And then I started to blend. So I'm going into this um, Morphe, I think it's the 206 brush. I will list everything down below for you guys as per usual. And so I started to apply the color like I always do. You know, I pick up some product, I start to tap it into the skin, and then I'll blend back and forth. Um, so when I was doing this, when I would pack the color, it was fine. But then when I started to blend it, we started getting into some difficulties um as you guys see here i was struggling and it disappeared so i'm going back into the smudger brush and i'm packing on some more eyeshadow but the problem that i was having is whenever i started to blend then the eyeshadow would disappear um so for anybody who is new to eyeshadows i definitely would skip on this palette because i felt like the mattes were pretty hard to work with just because they would um, not be as pigmented. Um, if you packed it on, you know, multiple times, you would have that beautiful payoff that I feel like you should get the first, um, you know, once or twice that you go into an eyeshadow. Um, you don't have to struggle when applying an eyeshadow. You know what I mean? <laughs> so here I'm taking a clean Morphe M433 just to buff out the um, edges of that rose tattoo, that orangey tangerine color. Um, but I did notice that when I went into this shade called Bonfire to blend out this, those edges, um, in this next clip here, you're going to see that it's not as pigmented as I wish it would be. And it started to disappear. Uh, the, the first shadow that we placed started to disappear after I started blending it in with Bonfire. So that was really disappointing because I really, when you open up this palette, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's so beautiful. Like, I don't know, it gave me like, um, 
what's that brand called juvia juvia's place of vibes um so i was like so excited to dig in and i think it's just the mattes in this particular palette um going into the shade called toasty i started to apply it towards the outer corners and i was thinking i was gonna get a nice like not like super dark of course brown but at least you know show up a little bit more i feel like it kind of looks like rose tattoo um just a little bit lighter um but so i was a little disappointed on that shade as well and i got the exact same outcome it felt kind of more on the patchy like chalky side um so i definitely was not feeling it um but at the end though like i said it turns it turned out really really well i've been doing makeup for many years and i feel like somebody who's new to eyeshadows will really struggle with this particular palette because of the formula of the eyeshadows but like i said you guys the the end result of doing all this blending um definitely the eyeshadows look amazing um so i'm not mad at it it just took a little bit to get there and now i'm gonna go ahead and just cut my crease using my urban decay eden primer um, in this brush from Be Bella Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the brushes. This is from um, Morphe. Unfortunately, there's no number, but I like to use this to blend out the edges whenever I do my half cut crease. Um, this really helps to really pat in the primer or concealer, whatever it is that you're using. It just makes it easier for you whenever you're gonna go back and apply some color towards the outer corner. Um, and it doesn't give you that harsh line. So I'm going into my MAC, I think this is like the 239 brush, and I'm going into a shade called Ocean Avenue. You guys, this shimmery eyeshadow, absolutely beautiful. I think it looks really, really pretty. When I took um, pictures with that eyeshadow on the lid, I was in shock. It was just really gorgeous. I love how shiny it looks, and it applied really nicely. It was actually very buttery, so I was very happy with that. Um, and now just going back into the um, same shades that we use in the crease to apply it towards the outer corner So that's why it's so important to blend out your Concealer or your eye primer at the outer corner so that way once you go in with your mattes You can't tell where the concealer or primer stopped um, So I wasn't having any difficulties when applying those two shades. I was very being very very careful <laughs> um, And I'm so glad it wasn't chalky. I was getting really scared Going into Golden Fairy um, by Violet Voss, I did go into the Heavy Metal Liner Glitters from Urban Decay and I applied this in the crease and then just setting it with the loose glitter. Um, going into my Schwinn Liquid Liner, it does dry matte. This is from the Bomb Cosmetics and I'm going to be creating a wing. I haven't done a wing liner in such a long time. <laughs> I was so nervous to do it to be honest because I was like... Oh my god i always do an hour corner wing like now i have to do i have to connect it so but your girl did good <laughs> and now going into the um eye pencil from urban decay and i'm just in the shade black and i'm applying it in my waterline as well as smoking the lower lash line and then just going back into the rose tattoo shade um and more of that toasty shade to blend out the eyeliner and make it nice and smoky. I did pick up a little bit of Venice Fling, that glittery shade from that palette as well, and applied it towards the um, lower lash line. And of course, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Going into the Studio Makeup Blush. Um, you guys know that I've been loving this matte blush. It's nice and matte before we go into the baked highlighters on top. And on top, you guys, I'm gonna go into this um, baked highlighter, highlighter powders. They're absolutely beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna go into the shade called Expose and apply this as a topper on top of my blush. And I just feel like it gives it a really nice, like more rosy, glowy look. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into the shade called Abai. This is, again, another baked highlighter powder. And you guys, super, super pigmented. I highly recommend you guys checking out these baked um, highlighters. I think they are amazing quality, super buttery, and I just gives you an amazing payoff. Um, so these, I definitely recommend to check them out. Um, for lipstick, I'm going to go into the Sweet Tea um, Lip Pencil by Morphe and then the liquid lipstick um, in the shade called Treat. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color, you guys. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The only thing that I'm going to say is that I had to constantly keep going back into the tube to pick up some more product and get it to the color that I want. Um, the good thing is that you can layer this um, without it getting too chalky or too dry. So that's a good thing. They feel very comfortable on the lips, so definitely check out their liquid lipsticks. They also have some glosses. And of course, for a very affordable price. <laughs> Alrighties, and 
that is it for today's makeup look on using this new brand called Estate Makeup. Well, it's new to me. <laughs> um, those were my thoughts on each single item. I definitely love the lipstick. The lip color is absolutely beautiful. Like I did mention, the only thing that sucks is that you have to constantly um, take out more product. Um, I'm normally used to like using other makeup brands where I literally only need like to go into the tube maybe twice and like that's it. It covers my entire lips. Um, and you guys know that I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys no matter what. Um, the eyeshadows I felt like were really pretty as well. I give you guys my opinion on that too. Um, the baked blushes, the baked highlighters were seriously my favorite. Again, like I said, I do have a discount code with them. Feel free to use it if you like. It is linked down below as well. Check out their website. They have other makeup um, as well, um, not just the stuff that I use in today's video. Um, and of course, if you did enjoy today's video and you felt inspired, please um, let me know on Instagram. Follow me there. Tag me if you felt inspired by today's video. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share before you do leave my channel today. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. Besitos. Los quiero mucho. I'll see you soon. Bye.